sunroom slash greenhouse um, still working on it like I said we're renovating this area making it into a greenhouse this summer and for winter um, but yeah I will be giving you a tour of how I set up my plants in here how they all look where they all at what plants I have um, and then I'll also be doing a little mini house plant tour of all the houses that I do have still inside of my house so i hope you guys stay tuned and enjoy and let's get this on the road here is basically kind of like my sunroom area slash greenhouse in the making um this is how it looks like from the outside you can see some of my plants there already but this is the door and right when you walk into here let me give you a pan view so this is how it looks like Okay, so right when as you come in through the door, on my left, I have this little station here. So here I have my fiddle leaf fig, my avocado tree up here, my ficus tanicki behind my avocado tree. Right there, and then right behind my fiddle leaf fig and ficus tanicki, I have my money tree over here. And then moving on from that, I have my big snake plant right here sitting on top of a bucket. And then I just recently moved my Cebu potos out here. Um, and then right up here on my shelf, I have my one of my mini spud plants. My first aloe, which looks very sad, um, but she's surviving. And then two ZZ here as well as a small snake plant so that's on the top shelf and then here are just all my other containers and things that I use and then kind of like my pots and saucers and watering cans and a lot of like planty stuff it's really messy so if we pan back to where the door is here right on the right of the door as you can see I have my ficus rubies here and I did separate them, so they are separated. Um, if you guys have seen that video of me separating my ficus trees, um, I will have it linked down below. So if you guys want to check it out and how to separate yours if they come with many in a pot. Um, and then here is my one of my jelly peperomia, my croton, and then two aloes here in the back. And then here is also, I want to see if this is also the ficus ruby. Yeah, I think this is also the ficus ruby. Yeah, I think these are all ficus rubies except for this guy. Here's my ficus burgundy. And then moving on down to here, this is my ficus altissima. I recently just got got him. Um, from Home Depot and he's been doing really well he is beautiful I absolutely love his foliage so I was on a no plant buy I was on a no plant buy until I saw him and I had to get him because I couldn't pass up on him he was the only one left and I was like why not he's worth breaking my no plant buy so I bought him I just got him about like a week ago so he's really new addition and then moving on next to him is my, this is my Hoya Carnosa, the all green. And right next to him, I have the Hoya uh, Crimson, I want to say this is the Crimson Princess right here. This is the Crimson Princess. And then next to the Hoya Crimson Princess, which is this girl here, is the Hoya Crimson Queen with the white on the outside. Princess has the white on the inside. And then right below here, I have a angel wing begonia, a really tiny, tiny one. Let me pull it out. Here's 
how she looks like. Very small. And then right here is my Hoya um, Hindu rope. And then here are my um, pearls and jade photos. And here's a marble queen photos here, a neon photos, another marble queen, and then another jelly pepperomia. And here on this table, I have all of my spider plants besides the one up on the shelf. So starting here is my big all green spider plant, my biggest variegated spider plant. There's an airplane flying above. And then this is a smaller all green spider plant as well. And then these are my two curly bonnie spider plants. The curly bird fish. Here's like a tiny little baby. Pop it through. And then these two are also the all green spider plants. And this is my satin pothos. And then right down here are my humidity loving more humidity loving plants they're in this container this is how i maintain the humidity i keep them in here in this clear bin um but i have my calathea ornata my stromanthi trio star and my white fusion calathea and they have been doing awesome they recently again just got watered when it rained here and i left them out to collect rain um, to get water by the rain, I mean, because I haven't watered them since, really, I've gotten them, because I've kept them in this bin since I've gotten them, and the soil's been moist since, and it's just slowly started to dry out a little bit, so I was like, let me just let them collect rain. And then, moving on to near the, I'll call this, like, the window. So here, let's start off up here in this corner, I have my... Prince of Orange Philodendron. He's been doing really well and right under him here is the small Prince of Orange and my Congo Rojo Philodendron. My two pink princesses are here as well. And then this is my dad's herb, one of his Asian medicine herb plants. I'm not too sure if you guys know what it is. I, I don't know what it is. Um, or what the name of it is, but he eats it and it's good for him, he says. And here's my variegated umbrella plant. And right down here are my Pilea, Pileas, Pilea, my Pilea Peppermoides. Um, this is the mama, the mama, and then the babies here. And then here are all my little terrarium plants, my arrowheads, my. Uh, Peperomia, so my Pilea, and a little white nerve plant here. Another little jelly. And here's my pink polka dot plant that's kind of really not doing all that well. It's really straggly. I need to like trim it down. Here's my arrowhead, ber my berry illusion arrowhead. My zebra, zebra plant my pink nerve plant and then here's my red cyan siami cyan i'll put the names list i'll list all the names of my plants on the screen for you one. and then this is the fluorite one i believe and here's my bird of paradise bird of paradise and then this is my goldfish plant in the corner here it's loving the sun and then Here's my orchid. And then these are my cactuses. Cactus. And then right next, right on top of them up here, which I will take down because I can't really get a good lighting on her. This is one of my hanging plants. She is a con this is her name. Codanathi? Codanathi. I think that's how you say it. Codanathi. Um, and she's been doing really well up here. 
She just hangs up here on this little hook, a S hook up here. And then right next to this table here is all of my vining philodendrons. Um, so back here is my philodendron, philodendron Brazil. I can't speak. Philodendron Brazil. My all green heart shaped leaf philodendron. My micans. Philodendron micans. She's trailing beautifully. Philodendron lemon lime. And then right behind them is my big Edinsonia, Andy. He's doing well, he's trailing like crazy. His longest trail is up here. Um, and then right next to him is my my Monstera Deliciosa. It's slowly unfurling. Oh, that lighting is so bad here. <sighs> Oh, but yeah, he's doing really well. This is Gretchen, or not he, she. She's doing really well. Um, and then right next, right under her, down here, is my peace lily that was dying, but now it's doing so much better. I just kind of leave her alone, do her own thing, and she grew all those new little cute footage. Um, and then right up here, I have my... Imperial Red Philodendron that is still in water propagating. Um, he's doing better, doing good. I'm thinking about transferring him to soil soon, as well as my new avocado, who's doing wonderfully as well. His little leaves, doing really good. And then my Norfolk Pine. Is also doing good and then this is my very sad lipstick plant that I got last year that basically died back all the way this is all the death and this is the only one that survived and um, she's doing great so that's good <laughs> uh, and then right over here I have my Manjula Pothos Manjula Pothos she is very bushy, big and bushy. My biggest, bushiest pothos ever. And then right next to her is Greer. This is Greer. Many of you may know her. Um, she is my very first Monstera. Um, and I thought she was a Monstera Deliciosa, but after doing many research, she's actually a Borsigiana. I believe that's how you say it. She's a Monstera Borsigiana. She's not as big as Gretchen over here. And she doesn't really... She's still in quite a small, like, juvenile plant. So she doesn't have that much fenestration yet. A few leaves do have it, but they're really small. Like, she's just small. She's not as big as Gretchen. So she, um, after doing a lot of research and comparing and talking to a few people and talking to nurseries um, she is a Borsigiana and not a Deliciosa but that's her and I do have a bamboo stake in here propping her up I was debating about if I want to propagate her but I decided to wait until the end of this summer maybe towards the end of summer and then I'll propagate her so again just a really quick pan overview of my sunroom here um, this is how it looks like Gretchen here, Manjula, Pothos and then here we have the Norfolk Pine, my new avocado my Imperial Red, my lipstick plant and Gretchen, my Deliciosa and then Andy over there with all of the philodendrons um, and then here we have all of the aguanimas and cactus and more tropical plants that like the sun. My philodendrons obviously are all here as well. And then here I have all of my more shade loving or don't need as much sun um, plants. So my spiders, some potos and ficuses here. Um, and then also my calathea and stromanthi. 
Um, and then over in this corner, I have my ficus lorata money tree, ficus snakey, and my big avocado tree and snake plant. Temporarily having my sea blue pothos here. And then a few shade loving plants up here on the top shelf. And then this is my little temperature where I keep out here for them. So it's 84 degrees today in Minnesota, Minneapolis here. And the humidity in here is about 40%, which isn't too bad. Um, a lot of them do have pebble trays. Or if they don't even have pebble trays, I have them on top of like just a little bit of water. And the pot, the actual pot itself is sitting on top of like a saucer or uh, a lid. Uh, like my ficus lorata here is on top of some broken um, terracotta bits and then I have a bit of water in there some of them have pebbles marbles like Greer over here has rocks and water in there for humidity Gretchen has marbles and then all the other guys have small pebbles um, on the tray so they're sitting on top of that um, and these guys also have pebble trays as well to help with the humidity and I open them throughout the day just so that air could filter through and circulate air but then at night when I come back when I come back at late evenings I put the lid back on and I leave it like that for the whole night um, but we'll just leave it open for now to get air through airflow um, but yeah that is my sunroom tour um yeah so that's how it looks like and then over here is just junk and mess and all my potting stuff so don't pay attention to this side and then i have all my pots over there but yeah these are all my plants here so i hope you guys enjoyed my sunroom uh plant tour it is really like to me it's hot today um but I love the sun. I love the summer weather. It's really good today. Um, but yeah, that is all of my, most of my house plants outside now. Um, and they'll be out here through for the whole entire summer until late August. I'll start moving them back in. Late August, early September is when I'll start moving them back all in inside. And then hopefully by then, maybe I'll do another, I'll do a house plant tour of how all of my plants look like and like my setup when I move them inside how they look like um, but yeah this is it's crazy to think that I have over like a hundred plants and yeah which is not I think it's a lot but I, I, I know a lot of other people who have a lot more and, and I applaud them for all their hard work and their dedication and their passion to care for houseplants which is you know it's something that I absolutely love to do too and it keeps me going and it gives me something to look forward to every day because I come out here every day every morning checking my plants making sure that they're all happy and okay and that nothing bad has happened to either one of them um, and so like you know it keeps you going every day um, but yeah uh, I do want to talk briefly I've, I've talked about it before about this room in general um so if i just walk out really quick out to this one so as you can see this is how the room looks like and it's actually so this is this this is the room and then back here is our garage so it's connected to our garage and i'm gonna pan this over so I could just talk and explain so, at the same time. So yeah, so our sunroom, my sunroom is connected to the garage. Um, so what I eventually want to do this summer, which is my big summer project, is um, I'm gonna take, well I don't know if I want to take down the screens on the window panels here or if I'm just planning to leave them. I might just likely just leave them. But I'm planning to take plastic uh, lining, like greenhouse lining and lining it basically all around this entire part so starting from all the way back there forward up into here on the door um 
so that it could be a year-round greenhouse. Um, and then I'm planning to add in more um, hooks, hanging hooks, up onto this wooden panel ceiling, um, like that one back here, and like that one that my dad has up. And we have a few random ones in here, like we have one back here, and then one smack in the middle here. Uh, but I want to add more just along this edge so that you know they could plants that I hang up would get enough light and to put more hooks up here as well as along this side because this is my east facing side um, so I'm planning to put more up here as well and we do have this big tree bush here that blocks this corner makes it very very dark um, I don't think I'm going to put any hooks further past this um, wooden panel here. So I would just stop right here. Where Greer, basically right above Greer is where I will stop um, putting hooks. But I want to put in hooks so I could put most of my hanging plants up. Like I want to put some of my spider plants hanging. Like my manjula. I want to hang it up. Um, some of my pothos here I want to have hanging up so yeah I have a lot of plans for this room this summer just so that uh, I can have more space inside for just living plans for the summer and I will probably film the process of doing everything and how I put up the plastic lighting for the outside I do have to fix that door because it's broken I will show you guys I'm gonna just close it like it is a janky door oh let's see hold on will it even close Yeah, like it won't even close. Sometimes it's hard to have to kick it. Okay, there you go. And then I just put this here. I don't have a lock, so I just put that there. And then I stick this little pin in. You can see the bottom's broken. This is the bottom piece down here it's broken so this is basically just wide open and what I do if I don't want anything to go in there I'll take this black pin just put it there and it kind of blocks it but yeah well we're gonna head inside now I'm just gonna show you guys all the plants that are still inside of my house like I said I have two a few golden potos and a few propagating plants in there Head inside. Hi, bad girl. Hi, William. Hey, where are you going? Okay. So, right when you walk into the back door, you get, you still see my two golden potos here. These are my two biggest potos. Um, a golden potos and they just hang right up here. They're gonna stay here. Um, and then I still have my Midnight Queen cactus or I think that's what it's called. I still have them up here as well along the fish tank. So they will be staying there. There's the big fish tank. Um, and then along this wall we still have our um, golden potos as well in these water globes. I will try to find these water globes on Amazon and link them below if you're interested. My dad put those up a couple years back and you know they've been like that for a long time. So we have these two up here. Um, and then here and then I have ooh, I have some propagating things here. Um, I have some air plants 
uh, cuttings of my mom's lemon tree. Oh my god, it's dropping leaves like no tomorrow. I need to like put them in soil. And then my Burgundy Wandering Jew that's blooming. She's always blooming. Like, always blooming. Oh, uh, it won't focus. But she's always blooming. Uh, my brother's bamboo. Love you, bamboo. And then over here, I have some Manjula propagating. And yeah. These are basically all the plants that are still in the house, which is not a lot. It's just a few. Most of my plants are outside now in the sunroom. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But yeah, that is it for my mini house plant tour of all the plants I still have left in the house. And then also a plant tour of my sunroom of all my plants that I moved outside and the setup and how I set them up and everything. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do like, share, and subscribe. Um, leave comments down if you have any questions or you know suggestions leave them all down in the comments below uh, I will be putting out my next collective series um, Soon so I'll probably be filming that within the next two three days and putting it up next week for sure um, and then I'll also be doing some doggy videos because this channel is about plants and pets, plants and dogs, plants and pups. Um, but I'll also be doing some doggy videos with my dogs who are all down here. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for your time and I hope you enjoy. Thank you.